What is DRS? When is it used? How does it work? Today, you will answer all these questions. First of all, what does DRS mean? Stands for Drag Reduction System. It is a device that modifies the position of the upper plane of the rear wing in order to facilitate overtaking in motorsports. When the DRS is activated, it can increase the top speed of the car by about 15 km per hour. The purpose of the DRS is to reduce aerodynamic resistance and make it easier for cars to overtake each other on the track. It is only allowed to be used in specific zones on the track, typically located about 300 to 400 meters before the overtaking zone. In order to use the DRS, there are rules that need to be followed. The first rule is that a driver must be within one second of the car ahead in the activation zone to be eligible to use it. The activation zone is the only area on the track where the DRS can be used. It is not allowed to be used in other parts of the circuit. And how does DRS work? The DRS works by using a hydraulic system to move a piece that raises the upper plane of the rear wing of an F1 car. This reduces aerodynamic resistance and increases the top speed of the car. And the driver can activate it by pressing a button when a green light appears on the steering wheel indicating that it is allowed to be used. However, it needs to be closed after use, because if you don't close it, you get exactly what happened to Ericsson in a Grand Prix of Monza. You lose downforce, affecting braking and stability in high-speed corners. The DRS is closed automatically when the driver releases the accelerator pedal or applies the brakes, which deactivates the hydraulic pressure and allows a spring to return the wing to its natural position. The aerodynamic force also helps in closing the wing quickly. Some drivers may choose to close the DRS manually to reduce the time it takes to fully close and regain stability before braking. For example, Hamilton often does this by deactivating it just before braking and entering a corner. However, this means there will be a brief moment without full aerodynamic support. It's important to note that the DRS can only be used when the track is declared dry by the FIA. It is deactivated during wet conditions to prioritize safety. It is also not allowed to be used during the first three laps of a race or the first three laps after a safety car. And it is immediately deactivated during a virtual safety car. In the first lap of a race, drivers cannot use the DRS because it would make overtaking too easy. They can start using it from the third lap. The DRS does not always make you reach the same top speed, as it depends on the circuit. So, which circuits are best for DRS? Basically, the best circuits for DRS are those with medium to high aerodynamic downforce, because the rear wing angle is higher. To understand this, you just need to compare a rear wing for Monaco and one for Monza. You can see at first glance that the one for Monaco is much larger than the one for Monza. Therefore, the DRS will have a greater effect. It's important to know that the impact of DRS depends on the length of the straight. Monaco has a short straight, while Barcelona has a very long one. So, in Monaco, where the straight is not very fast, the aerodynamic resistance will also be lower, as it varies with speed. But in Barcelona, speeds exceed 330 km per hour, and there is a lot of aerodynamic resistance. As you can see, the DRS is not just a piece of wing that lifts and allows air to pass through. It is influenced by many factors that determine its performance based on the circuit. In other words, it's a complex element, but its operation is quite basic. If you think this video was valuable, please consider subscribing. See you, Gene.